Welcome to Abstyle Press. In a previous video, I shared a CSS only tutorial to demonstrate how to break out of container and make inner div expand beyond parent container so that inner div takes full screen width. Search for break out of container or extend content beyond container or full width content in container from my channel and you will find it. I will provide the link in description as well. Okay, that video was about stretching a div beyond container and making it full screen width wise. In this video, we will make it stretch half the screen width, not 100% wide, 50% wide. Let me show you. This is our HTML document and a CSS file is attached with it. This is our HTML. This is our container with a div inside it. This div will be stretched to full screen. And then we have got an image inside it. First, let's apply basic CSS resets and layout adjustments. Margin and padding zero, box sizing, border box, and then HTML body, height 100%. And then for image, display block, width 100% and max width 100%. So image will be stretch, image will be 100% in width. Right now it looks like this. For this container, width 1000 pixels, margins zero auto, height 100%, display flex, align item center and justify content center. Container has got fixed width of 1000 pixels and it's flex box to make inner div centered vertically and horizontally. Now this is our container and inside container we have got this div containing image. Container, this is div and this is image. Now to make this inner div stretch to full screen width, we will do something like this. Full width 100 VW. Max width 100 VW. First, we make the div 100% wide according to viewport width. Then set left and right margins. Margin. This is for top and bottom. And this is for left and right. Calc. First, we will apply 50 VW negative margin. Save. And then we will add 50% in it. You see, it's now stretched beyond container. We can also do it like margin left, similarly, margin right. So this works. Here we have inner div that breaks out of container. Image is just there to prove that div is breaking out of container. Image will take all available width. It works for full screen. Let's stretch the same div or image for half screen and not the full screen. So for that, I will comment this. Let's comment this HTML as well blank page and here is our new html we have got flex wrap inside it we have got two flex columns consider this flex draw and this flex column and this will be flex column and inside second flex column we have got an inner div this will be the container and then from this container this div will stretch and take almost full width or full width. 
that this column has and similarly this div has got an image inside it save flex wrap display flex line item centers justify center width height 100% Then we have flex column, display flex, width 50%, height 100%. Okay, so this is first column, this is second column. Flex call, first child, background color gray, and this is different background color for second column to differentiate between them. This is first column, and this is second column. In the second column, we need container. This is the div, this inner is the container, it will have 100% width but max width will be 400 pixels. Margin zero auto, some background color, height 100%. It will also be flex with line item center to make things centered. So now this is one column and 50%. This is second column, 50%. And in second column, we have got this black container. Inside container, we have got that div containing image. We want this div containing image to stretch across this column. For that, we have got image wrap inside inner. Let's call inner img wrap. Okay. First of all, width 100%. Max width calc 50vw. Position absolute now left 50% so it is stretched now and if we want some padding from left and right we can do something like this deduct 20 pixels from 50 bw and then transform translate x plus value 10 pixels so because we deducted 20 pixels, so we added 10 pixels to make it shift to right. So 10 pixels here, 10 pixels here is a little bit gap. We'll also make it like 40, 20. And to make it responsive, we can apply this CSS for certain screen widths. Like if min width is 992 or greater than that, then apply this CSS. So this is Flexbox. We need another media query. If max width is 991 or smaller than that, for Flex raw. We will use flex wrap wrap and height 100%. For our flex column, we will use width 100%. Previously, we used width 50% for column. So here, width 100% and height 50%. And for inner, max width 100%. Here, inner had max width of 400 pixels save so now if we will squeeze the screen it will respond because this area is blank with no content so i have to use 50 percent height 50 percent height here This technique is working in this particular scenario where I am using CSS Flexbox. It may not work for you in some cases. If it does not work in your scenario, instead of this, try this. Width 100%, max width calc 50VW minus 10 pixels and here position will be relative, left 50% and then some transform. It may work in some scenarios. If relative position can work, then it's better. And avoid absolute. So either this will work 
if, the, if this doesn't work, use this one. And by the way, why we used something like this here? That is because this technique will not work here. That was for full screen, stretching the div to full screen. It was like this. And you see, this does not work. That is why we use this. That works perfectly. This one. So this is how we can make a div break out of container for half screen width. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.